Hello everyone, it is Grandma Lily, and it's time for story time with Grandma Lily. And today is Saturday and it's in, we're in July and it is very, very warm. And we're gonna read a story about a very special girl today. And so uh, before we get started, I wanna say hello and I love you and I miss you to my babies, Elijah and Jordan. And Kylie, I hope you're taking very good care of your mommy. And Serenity, I hope you're taking good care of your mommy too. So today, I want you to get your uh, pillows and blankets and stuffies and cookies and milk and come back and have a seat. And we're going to read about a very special book that I got out of the library about a girl. And I don't know what her name is. Maybe we'll find out. But the name of this book is called Under My Hijab. And Under My Hijab is about a young girl and a hijab. This is a hijab. This what is What this young girl is wearing on her head is a hijab. And girls and women from um, a certain culture in the Middle East sometimes wear this on their head. And you might see somebody in school that wears this and, or at work or at the mall. It's a different kind of head covering. Sometimes we wear uh, different kinds of hats and sometimes we wear different kinds of scarves. And this is called a hijab. So, and this is a very pretty pink one. So we're gonna read this and this is by Haina Khan. And it is illustrated by Aaliyah Jalil. So here we go. Under my hijab. And look, it looks like this girl's waving her hijab in the, in, in the wind behind her. To my strong Muslim sisters everywhere by HK. And to all the inspiring women in my life, most importantly, my mom, AJ. And there are different girls with different coverings. And that is in, in Muslim, in the Muslim religion, a lot of times women will wear the hijab. Women and girls will wear a hijab. Grandma peeks into the oven as a brown loaf of bread starts to rise. Her hijab is carefully folded like the crusts on my favorite pies. Grandma's wearing a very pretty blue hijab. Baking bread. Mm. When she's at home in her kitchen, Grandma fixes her hair in a bun. We mix up some chocolate cookies and share a sweet treat when they're done. There's Grandma in her bun. Our little girl, and they're both wearing aprons and they're making cookies. Mama makes jokes with her patient as she peers in his ears and his throat. Her bright pink hijab looks so cheerful, tucked into her tidy white coat. There is a doctor, and she's looking. Do you? I don't like that at all. I don't like the tongue depressor when I put that on my tongue and they make me say, ah. Mm. At home, Mama lets her long hair down as she rolls up the sleeves on her shirt. We laugh while we plant pretty flowers and make a big mess with the dirt. And there's another grown-up over there. It looks like he's grilling hamburgers on the grill. Those are some pretty flowers. Auntie works hard in her studio. She's always dressed funky and cool. Her silky hijab towers up high pinned with a handmade jewel. Ooh, and it's a beautiful shade of golden brown. Look at that pretty jewelry. She's a painter. I help hang my very own painting on the wall of her colorful home. Auntie's hair is streaked pink and purple, a fine work of art she can comb. Jenna's our fearless troop leader. She makes us the gooeyest s'mores. Her hijab is topped with a sun hat, 
whenever we hike the outdoors. There, there you go, and that's to keep the sun off her face, but still keep her hair covered. When dark falls, we huddle together and share spooky stories all night. Jenna's hair glows as she whispers, I shiver and hold her arm tight. My sister Zaina in high school wears something stylish each day. She pushed she puts on a fashionable outfit and wraps her hijab a cute way. And there it looks like she has a nice purple one. She has pretty jewelry too. And there's her sister waving goodbye. Zaina ties up her hair in the evening when she takes a short break from her book. Then we dig through the clothes in her closet to find her tomorrow's fresh look. There's her hair, it's nice and curly and brown. Iman tries to earn her first black belt. A sporty hijab frames her face. When she cracks a board into pieces, I'm amazed her hijab stays in place. Hers is blue with a nice white stripe. At my house, we dance to some music. I teach Iman new moves that I know. My cousin's curls bounce, jump, and tumble as we put on our own private show. She's got some bouncy, curly hair there. These wonderful girls and smart women inspire me with all that they do. I can wear my hijab like each of them or try something totally new. There's all the different hijabs. Some of them have pretty jewels. Some of them have fringe. Under my hijab in a headband or a clip with butterfly wings, my hair shines bright like my future. I can't wait to see what it brings. And now we're going to learn, remember yesterday we learned about the penguins at the end? Well, today we're going to learn about the hijab. Like many other religions, Islam, at Islam is Muslims follow the religion of Islam. Like many other religions, Islam asks its followers, both men and women, to dress in a modest way. Hijab is a common word for the headscarf that millions of Muslim women wear to cover their hair and often their ears, necks, and chests. They may choose to dress in the hijab to reflect their faith, to feel closer to God, or because they believe their religion requires them to keep these parts of the body private. Women put, the scarf, put on the scarf when they go to work or school play sports, or do any activity in a public setting. But they uncover when they are at home with the men in their immediate families or in the company of other women and girls. Young girls may practice wearing a hijab as part of a school uniform or to mirror the women in their lives. However, most girls don't wear the hijab regularly until adolescence. It is important to note that many observant Muslim women, including the author of this book, choose not to wear a hijab based on their personal interpretation of Islamic religious requirements. Yet they may cover their hair in certain situations, such as when visiting a mosque or while praying. As you saw on these pages, the hijab, like other different types of clothing, 
is worn in many different styles depending on a person's individual taste and culture, and it can be a beautiful expression of the Islamic faith. So you've learned about the scarf that many Muslim women wear and girls wear, and not only did we get to see all of the different ways that you can wear a hijab, but we also saw what people's hair looked like, what lady girls and, and women's hair looked like when they were home. So yesterday we learned about penguins. Today we learned about a hijab. Who knows what we're going to learn tomorrow. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. It's going to be another warm one tomorrow, so try and stay cool. And just remember, Grandma Lily loves you. Bye-bye.